embark on a voyage through the annals of time, where the enigmatic allure of the 11th century melds with the reflective essence of modern-day musings. We're about to traverse the profound realms of Omar Khayyam's intellect, a Persian polymath whose poetic and philosophical endeavors echo through the corridors of time. With his multifaceted genius in mathematics, astronomy and poetry, Khayyam's insights deftly bridge the chasm between the ancient and the contemporary, offering a transcendent lens to ponder upon the cosmic dance and our entwined existence within it. Today, we delve into the timeless resonance of Khayyam's quatrains, drawing intriguing parallels with the philosophical quandaries of our time. As we navigate through this narrative, each quatrain unfolds a tapestry of understanding, a conduit to modern-day reflections and discourses. So, with hearts alight with curiosity and minds keen for exploration, let us commence this journey into the heart of contemplation. As a precursor to the essence of our expedition, let us enrich our understanding of the illustrious Omar Khayyam, a Persian luminary whose pursuits in mathematics, astronomy and poetry have left indelible marks on the sands of time. His Rubaiyat, a treasure trove of quatrains, continues to inspire, provoke and soothe souls across the globe. These four-line stanzas are not mere collections of words, but portals that ferry us across the turbulent seas of existential ponderings into the serene shores of introspection. As we're about to delve into ten selected gems from Omar Khayyam's Rubaiyat, each accompanied by a brief interpretation, prepare to alight upon the shores of deeper understanding, where each quatrain is a beacon of ancient wisdom amidst the modern tempest. Now, without further ado, let us unveil the rich tapestry of Omar Khayyam's quatrains, inviting you to a sanctuary of thought where each line is a sojourn into the realms of the eternal and the transient. Here are ten evocative poems from Omar Khayyam's Rubaiyat, along with a modest attempt to interpret the boundless depths encompassed within each. The moving finger writes, and having writ, moves on, nor all thy piety nor wit shall lure it back to cancel half a line, nor all thy tears wash out a word of it. This quatrain discusses the immutable nature of the past. Once time has passed and actions have been taken, they cannot be undone, regardless of regret or wisdom. A book of verses underneath the bough, a jug of wine, a loaf of bread, and thou, beside me singing in the wilderness, O oh, wilderness were paradise enow. Kayam finds joy and fulfillment in simple pleasures and companionship, suggesting that they can make any setting feel like paradise, some for the glories of this world, and some sigh for the prophet's paradise to come. Ah, take the cash and let the credit go, nor heed the rumble of a distant drum, This quatrain encourages living in the moment and enjoying worldly pleasures rather than being solely focused on the afterlife. Into this universe, and why not knowing, nor whence like water willy-nilly flowing, and out of it as wind along the waste, I know not whither willy-nilly blowing. Kayam reflects on the mystery of existence acknowledging the uncertainty and lack of control humans have over life and death. Dreaming when dawn's left hand was in the sky, I heard a voice within the tavern cry, Awake my little ones and fill the cup, before life's liquor in its cup be dry. This quatrain encourages making the most of life before it's too late, using the metaphor of dawn and a cup of liquor to symbolize life's fleeting nature. Ah, love. Could thou and I with fate conspire? To grasp this sorry scheme of things entire, would not we shatter it to bits, and then remold it nearer to the heart's desire? Kayam fantasizes about reshaping the world to better fit our desires, if only love and he could control fate. I sent my soul through the invisible, some letter of that afterlife to spell. And by and by my soul returned to me, and answered, I myself am heaven and hell. Kayam explores the internal nature of heaven and hell, 
suggesting that they exist within oneself rather than as external realms. Yesterday this day's madness did prepare. Tomorrow's silence triumph or despair. Drink, for you know not whence you came nor why. Drink, for you know not why you go nor where. This quatrain encourages embracing the present moment, as the past is gone and the future is uncertain. And if the wine you drink, the lip you press, end in the nothing all things end in, yes, then fancy while thou art, thou art but what? Thou shalt be nothing, thou shalt not be less. Kayam reflects on the inevitable end, nothingness, which all will face regardless of their actions in life. The ball no question makes of eyes and nose, but here or there as strikes the player goes, and he that tossed you down into the field, he knows about it all, he knows, he knows. Kayam contemplates the idea of fate, or a higher power directing life's events, likening humans to balls in a game played by an unseen player. Delving into the process of creating the digital masterpieces you've witnessed in this collection has been nothing short of an exhilarating adventure. The journey commenced with employing the sophisticated capabilities of Midjourney AI, a platform that has proved to be a linchpin in breathing life into the whimsical and profound quatrains of Omar Khayyam. It's fascinating how the blend of artificial intelligence and human intuition can unfold into a plethora of vibrant, evocative images that resonate with the timeless wisdom encapsulated in Kayyam's poetry. The intricate process entailed meticulous crafting of prompts, each tailored to echo the essence of a quatrain, followed by an elaborate dance with digital tools to refine, mold and enhance the raw images birthed by Midjourney AI. Each step, a blend of art and science, each outcome, a step closer to the envisioned masterpiece. The convergence of modern digital artistry with ancient poetic wisdom has been a journey of exploration, reflection, and immense learning. Now, as we unveil this labor of love, your engagement becomes the cornerstone of its essence. Each like, comment, and subscription is not merely a click, but a ripple in the digital cosmos, encouraging more content of this nature. It's the bridge between creators and appreciators, a silent yet potent acknowledgement of the effort thought and heart poured into bringing such content to life. I invite you to hit the subscribe button and be a part of this evolving journey. Your subscription is a nod to the countless hours of exploration, refinement and digital craftsmanship that goes behind creating such content. It's a small yet significant gesture that fuels the drive to delve deeper and bring forth more enriched content. Furthermore, your likes and comments are not just interactions, they are the conversations that add layers of understanding and perspective to this work. Lastly, if you've enjoyed this journey through time, art and technology, do share this channel with like-minded individuals. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Your interaction propels the narrative forward towards more enriched explorations and creations.